So here is my one and only G.I. Joe figure from Mezco. And it is the only one yet released. Obviously, this is Destro. Um, the classic look of Destro. A couple months back, a couple months ago back, um, I created a list of the top 10 G.I. Joe characters that I'd like to see Mezco make into figures. And um, number five on that list was Firefly. And shortly, very shortly after I made that, it was like a couple days, Mezco announced that they were releasing Firefly. And um, today they are, well, I saw, this was the first time I saw where they're announcing another character from my top 10, which is Duke, who came in at number 10. And so we'll take a look at Duke. And um, before I get into Duke, the one thing I have noticed is there is a distinct pattern among these G.I. Joe figures that they've announced for Mezco in that every single one of them played a prominent role in at least one of the live-action G.I. Joe movies. So although they are clearly not intended to be the characters from the movies, it is interesting that those are the characters that they seem to be choosing. Now, the the biggest omission that I've seen on here, the one that's kind of inexplicable is Cobra Commander, but I would expect that if they keep going the way they're going, we're going to see Cobra Commander, uh, probably Scarlet, Flint, Zartan. Those were the ones that I would be expecting based on what they've been doing. I also said in my video that I suspect that they might be coming out with a couple a year. I think they're doing more than that because they they just, uh, in the last couple months, they've announced two more. So maybe they're going to get very serious about this. If they do, I'm going to have a, a nice Mezco collection of G.I. Joe figures. So here's Duke. And um, looks good. The facial sculpt is a little weird. I don't know. There he looks quite different. Um, definitely a... Looks like kind of the... <laughs> that's pretty cool. You know, Mezco does a really good job of displaying their figures. They they get you excited. That's pretty cool. He is a rough, tough-looking soldier. Wow. That is nice. They are really displaying that nicely. So you could very clearly see the elbow joint. So a most a vast majority of the Mezco figures, you can't see any of the joints, but you can definitely see the joint there. I guess you can pull the sleeves down so you can't see. Got his pistol. There he is saluting with his gun repelling down a elevator shaft and there he is in classic pose looks very much like the original Mattel no was it Mattel or Hasbro Hasbro I guess it was Hasbro not Mattel so he comes with lots of hands looks like six pairs and then one additional one two additional facial sculpts Knife with a holster, pistol with two clips, a couple of, what is that, a, a, a RPG or grenade launcher, um, some grenades, looks like six grenades, shovel, a mud splash, <laughs> a walkie talkie. So it says this is the um, deluxe edition as opposed to what? Enter Duke, the fearless fe field commander of G.I. Joe team and latest addition to the 112 Collective. Lock and load. So, he looks good. I'm very curious to see where they're going to go with this. This is a pretty exciting collection to me. Let's see, this is July 2024, so this is a long way off. This is a, Most of the other figures are coming are scheduled to come a lot sooner. Some of them should be released any day now. So anyway, I'm, I'm pretty excited. G.I. Joe 112 Collective Duke Deluxe Edition.